Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter six, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number one. Hey guys, once you get used to these, you're gonna love them. These are one of my favorite things to do and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I got scrap paper and I wrote it twice. I'm just gonna show you two different ways. You do not have to do it twice. You only have to do it once, okay? So I just wanna show you a different multiples because you can make 18 different ways, okay? So the first one I'm gonna do two times nine, okay? Now. 2 is a prime number. I'm going to circle it. If you don't know your prime numbers, you need to get yourself a chart off of Google. Okay? All right. Now, 9, I can break up to 3 and 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay? Both of those are prime numbers. Okay? So, when it says write the number of the product of its prime factors, you're going to write 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other way, okay? We could do 3 times 6, okay? Well, 3 is a prime number, and 6, you would break up to 2 times 3. Both of those are prime numbers, okay? Okay, so now you would still have 2, 3, and 3. Okay, I just want you to see that you're still going to wind up with the same numbers if you use different multiples, okay? Doesn't matter how you guys get to your multiplication as long as it equals the number you're trying to get to, okay? All right, so the next one, okay, we're going to go ahead and do 24, okay? So 24, I'm going to do 2 times 12. Well, 2 is prime, okay? So my first number here is going to be 2. Okay, now I'm going to do 12 is 3 times 4. 3 is prime. 4 is 2 times 2. And both of those are prime. There we go. Okay, we do 32. Okay, I'm going to do 2 times 16. You can do four times eight. You can do however it is you want to get to 32, as long as it equals 32, okay? Two is prime, okay? 16, two times eight. I tend to like using two if it's an even number. I tend to like using two because it gets me a prime number faster. If I did four times eight, then I would have to break up four over here too, okay? So, okay, eight. 2 and 4, and 4 is 2 and 2, both prime. Okay, so now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? All right, so 36, okay? Well, I'm going to do 3 times 12, okay? 3 is already prime, okay? 12 is 3 and 4. Again, 3 is prime. And 4 is 2 and 2, both of which are prime. So 3 times 3 times 2 times 2, okay? You guys do five and six, okay? These really do get kind of fun once you get used to them, okay? All right. Elspeth made a chart showing numbers as products of their prime factors. What expression is missing from row two of her chart? Okay, so we need to do 12, okay? 12 is three and four, and four breaks up to two and two. So three times... 2 times 2. Done. Okay? Or 2 times 2 times 3. It doesn't matter. You're multiplying. It goes in the whatever order you want. Okay? What number is missing from row 4 of the chart? Okay, so 5 times 2 is 10 times 2 is 20. Okay? When it's giving you one of these that's missing, then you just multiply. 
the numbers that it tells you. And when it's giving you one of these that's missing, you just split it up, divide it up. Okay? All right. All right, guys. You guys are going to do the lesson check on the back. And we are going to do this part of a review. Okay? Jasmine has 168 stickers. To put into 12 gift bags, if she divides the stickers evenly, how many stickers will she put in each bag? Well, 168 divided by 12. Okay. 12 was not going to go into 1, so we'll go into 16 one time. Okay, I will have 4 left over. Okay. So now 4 is smaller than 12, so I can bring down my 8, and 12 goes into 48. 4 times 4 times 12 is 48, is 0. So, 14 stickers. Okay? All right. Ralph is sewing panels of fabric together to make a drape for a set of theater productions. The lengths of the panels are 1.9 meters, 2.5 meters, and 3.4 meters. What will be the length of the drapes in the panel? So, all we got to do is add those up, guys. So, 1.9. 2.5, 3.4, okay? Whatever it is, it's going to be in meters, okay? So, drop your decimal. First thing, okay? 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 1 more is 18, carry that 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 3, 7, 7 7.8 meters, okay? All right. The Old Time Train Museum is raising the price of tickets for train riders. Tickets used to be $4.80 each. The new ticket price will be 1.25 times the old ticket price. It is telling you what to do. So I am going to actually put the 1.25 on top because you see that zero? I want to take it and put it at the end. Okay. So, I'm going to take that zero off and put it over there. Okay? All right. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 2, 16. Plus 4 is 20. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. Okay? Sorry, we're actually going to take that zero and put it at the end of the answer, not the end of. Okay. All right. So, now, tick. Tack, toe, 4 times 5 is 20, carry our 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry that 1, and 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, okay, add those up, we get 6,000, okay, plus that 0 on the end, and we're going to go in 1, 2, 3, 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so our new answer, 6, dollars okay all right Annalisa uses two-thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour and half a cup of whole wheat flour to make pancakes how many cups of flour does she use all together so two-thirds plus one half and we learned earlier in this chapter that you need a common denominator the smallest number that two and three are both going to go into is going to be six. I have to multiply three by two, so then I need to multiply the top by two, that's four. I have to multiply two by three, multiply the top by three, that's three. Four plus three is seven, okay? I'm going to do that mental math again, guys. Six is going to go into seven one time. I would have one left over, and my denominator stays the same. And one and one six cups. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 6.4. Come on back for 6.5 soon.